Meredith Swiftkey, and welcome back to Corn Crosses Dead and Breakfast, a game that I am absolutely in love with <laughs> and I cannot stop playing. Uh, so yeah, last time we met two ghosts, so we now have two ghosts in residence here at the Dead and Breakfast, and we also learned how to cook, which I'm super excited about. But unfortunately, we have run out of things that we can do tonight, so we are going to go to bed. And I, the reason I didn't send her to bed before at the end of the last episode is sometimes cutscenes happen when she wakes up, so let's go to sleep. Uh, what the? <laughs> Why is there no plaster to my head? Oh no, I bet it's that guy ghost. He like stuck his breakfast for order to my forehead while I slept. What a dingus. <laughs> what the, what the heck is this? Who the heck taped this to my face? It's a no. Listen up, mortal girl. I need you to collect some things for me. Uh, I don't know who this is, so I don't know what kind of voice to give them. Five candles, a piece of chocolate flowers with intact roots important i know you're only staying for a week so you better get this stuff for me before you leave got it what do you need candles flowers and chalk z who the heck is z seriously who knew ghosts were so bossy yeah tell me about it oh <laughs> oh okay so the note is there so i can keep track of whatevs Okay, let's go. So we don't see the ghost during the day, but I'm guessing during the day we like do our flower stuff and all those fun things. Uh, what? It's a crayon box, it's empty. See that Alex has been doing some coloring. Just wondering if there's like actual recipes hidden in any of these rooms. I'm guessing this is the TV ghost room. Full on nothing. All right, what can we hold to see what we can interact with? W, okay. I know that's kind of cheating, but I just want to make sure that I'm not like missing recipes or anything. Nothing in here. All right, let's go downstairs, I guess, and check on our flowers. Nope. Oh, is that your order? Coffee, pancakes, and a banana. Looks like a page torn out of a cookbook. And then the recipe for pancakes. All you need is pancake mix, milk, and an egg. All right, is that your order? Where are you keeping the chalk, dude? I need that for a mysterious ghost. I'm turning your TV off since you're not here to watch it. Oh, another note. Oh my gosh, there's notes everywhere. You have learned six out of ten recipes. Oh, okay, so that lets you keep track of. Okay. Anything different in here? Well, uh, nothing. All right. Let's go over this way. Hit the bell. Because why not? Okay. Oh, hi, Hermina. What are you doing? You're always creeping around in my house. Good morning, Miss Cross. Hey, Hermina. I've always enjoyed this parlor. I used to frequent this place when the B&B &B was operational. During the holidays, Gail would play the piano and the guests would sing along. It was quite quaint. I didn't know you knew Gail. How are your guests treating you, Miss Cross? Uh, it's been interesting. I never thought I'd be running a B&B &B for the dead. Hey, uh, Hermina, can you see them? No, like I said, it is an uncommon gift. Oh, I see. Are there many staying here? There's just a few of them, a little girl and a man who watches a lot of TV. And someone who stuck a note to my face. I see. Departed souls remain tethered to this world as a living because they have some unfinished business or lingering desires. Okay. If you find out what keeps them binded, you may be able to help them move on. That's why you came here, you know. Or that's why they came here, you know. To the bed and breakfast? To you. You're reach they're reaching out to you, Corn. 
dot dot dot. I'm afraid I can't tell you much more about the nature of the afterlife. Some things you'll have to figure out for yourself. Okay. Don't fear your connection with those who have passed on this cross. Are, are you just gonna hang out in here? Okay. All right, let's go check on our flowers, I guess. And we need to go buy things for pancakes. Oh, we have mail. There's something in the mail. It's addressed to Gail. It's a newsletter from his university. Should probably just throw this away. Oh, that's so sad. Why do I always play games that are sad? These flowers look great. You finished growing the flowers. Awesome. These flowers look great. All right, so we definitely wanna go and sell these. Let's fill our watering can while I'm thinking of it. All right, so we'll hit the hospital of the florists and then we'll hit the uh, green grocer. I just, I wanna keep visiting Miss Styron. I wanna learn more about Gail and her and everything else. Hello, Corn. Hi, Mrs. Styron, how are you? Not so good. I got a call from the Dean of Gail's University today. He told me about how intelligent and gifted Gail was. How the university was so sorry that such a promising student had passed. I know the call was meant to console me, but thinking about how he'll never get to live up to his potential. Did you know he was getting his master's in physics? He had two scholarships. What a waste. He wanted to make a difference in the world, and now he'll never get to. Uh, I think you're wrong, or you shouldn't think like that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, I don't know if I, I don't know what the correct answer here is, because, like, I could say, like, I think you're wrong, and he already had an impact on the world, and, you know, that's what you have to think about, or... I don't, I think saying like you shouldn't think like that is just too negative. So I'm going to say I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong, Mrs. Styron. I mean, I think he did make a difference in the world. Maybe he didn't get to pursue his ambitions, but he still mattered, didn't he? Dot, dot, dot. I suppose you're right. I'm very thankful for your company, Corin, but I think I'd like to rest now. All right, I'll see you later, Mrs. Styron. Hopefully that was the correct choice. All right. Now we will go to the florists, sell them flowers, and buy more flower supplies. Hey, Carol. Hey there, Corin. Welcome back. Oh, it's Chloe, not Carol. My apologies. Hi, Chloe. Say, Corin, how old are you? You've been right around Gail's age. Yeah, we actually went to high school together. No kidding. You know, Ramina always sent all her grieving customers my way for the floral needs, but they'd always be, but they'd usually be mourning for old folk, grandpas and such. Gail was young though. It's always so much sadder when the young ones go. Yeah. When he was a kid, he used to come in here and start telling me all about photosynthesis and Mendel and that kind of thing. I had no idea what the heck he was talking about. <laughs> that sounds like Gail. <sighs> he was always talking about how he was gonna be a scientist. Too bad. Uh, how do I sell you things? Uh, can I give these to you? There we go, sell flowers. Let's see, you have three flowers. How many do you want to sell me? Three. All right, so you're gonna sell me three flowers? Yes. All right, I'll buy three flowers from you for $96. $96? Jeez. What kind of flowers am I growing? <laughs> Sweet. Um, okay. So that should give me enough money to buy more flower things. Uh, let's buy... No, we're not buying 11. Three? What? Can I only buy... What? Are you serious? Why can I only buy them in multiples of 10? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, 
three. All right, so that leaves us $51. So let's see. Thanks for stopping by. No problem, Chloe. Um, let's see how much we can get with $51 at the green grocer, AKA the grocery store. Green grocer, isn't that, that's like a British term for the grocery, right? I think, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, hello, sir, I like your mustache. Uh, what did I need for pancakes? Can't remember what I needed for pancakes. Will he tell me? Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello. You are a new face, yes. You are coming here for the first time, no. Yep, I'm Corin. I'm Dimitri. I sell freshest groceries. You, Corin, you new girl, yes? Oh, uh, yeah, how'd you? I see you parking scooter. I knew this yellow scooter anywhere. This is Gail's yellow scooter. Oh yeah, it's his, I'm just borrowing it. How is Gail? I don't see him for many, many months. Oh God. Don't tell me Styrons have found new grocer. Uh, maybe, or Gail passed away. I'm gonna be straight up. Gail passed away. Actually, Gail, he passed away recently. Passed away? Gail dies? No, no, no. Gale Styron is young man. Much too young to die. You must be making a mistake. It's true. His mother is sick in the hospital, so I'm looking after the house. Dimitri has no idea of this. I'm sorry. You are kind to help Julia. I will have to send her fruit basket. It will have to be big fruit basket. Anyway, you are here to do shopping, yes? Today I give you first time shopper discount because you help Julia. Okay. I need a pancake mix. Uh, he asked for a banana, he asked for a coffee, milk, and egg, I'm guessing. Okay, I still got bread. Um, oh, I can buy candles, look at that. And chalk, okay. Uh, I'll buy that later. I don't need it until the end of the week, so... Um, <laughs> eggs are only a buck a piece, so let's buy a couple of eggs and some bacon and a potato and some cheese. Uh, we'll buy one. Mm, I'm down to twenty bucks, so I should probably wait. All right, let's. Thank you for shopping at Dimitri's. I will have to stop by hospital and visit Julia later, and perhaps cemetery to visit Gail. Oh, it's so depressing. I don't think I can interact with anything here, right? Yeah. All right, let's head home, I guess. Where should I go? Home. Get those flowers planted. And I still have all my energy, so I should be able to plant the flowers and get some food cooked, because what this face want pan wants pancakes. Alright. So we go clay pot. Clay pot. Clay pot. Dirt. Actually, I should probably just do it all. Was really tiring apparently hopefully i have enough energy to cook pancakes if i don't it will have to wait until tonight i guess da, 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 da. yeah i got your coffee and your banana oh, i just need pancakes i didn't see anything for butter 
Should I cook something? Sure. Pancakes. Yes, so I did get all the right. All right. There we go. Perfect. And cooking does use up energy. Okay. So I'll probably go to sleep then. Is Hermina still here? Or did she leave? Nope, she's still here. All right. Uh, day three of seven. Man, this is a short game. Finish your laptop. Check to face. Status update from Cynthia. So upset. Don't talk to me. Morning loss. Uh, right here. I'm gonna have to start re writing over some of these. All right, let's go to bed because we're very tired. What the? What the? What is? Oh my gosh! Is the third ghost like a rocker ghost? Oh my gosh! What the? What the heck is that? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Turn down that damn music, you darn Martin kids. Seriously, what is that? Is it coming from down the hall? Must be the last room. God, you're so loud. Is that really necessary? Hi. Who are you? Get out of my room, you old lady. What? No, I'm in charge of this place, all right? Well, what do you want, Grandma? Think you could turn down the music? Ugh. Angry teenager. If that's all you wanted, then leave me alone. Annoying old people. You know, I can't see you, but I can still hear you. Yeah, you dick. <laughs> So loud. Any recipes in here? So I guess she's the last of the ghosts. How fun. Anything else I can interact with? Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's never here. Is Alex in her room? She likes to play, so. Hey, Alex. Hey, Corin. Let's play hide and seek. Sure. Sure, Alex. We can play. Radical. Okay, I'm gonna hide somewhere on this floor of the house. And I won't vanish either. Okay, close your eyes. You have 30 seconds to find me. Oh my gosh. Bathroom. Nope. She said she wasn't gonna disappear, so... Ugh. Nope. She could have been in my bedroom. Nope. Nope. Found you. Ah! Found you. He. Wow, you're good at this, Corin. I even hid in my secret room and you found me. Playing with you is really fun. You're like a cool big sister. Ah. Oh. Let's play some more tomorrow cool big sister, huh? Huh. Didn't realize there was another floor to this house. Cool. Let's go explore. Oh, wow. Oh, no. This is Gail's room, isn't it? I was wondering where he lived. Oh, no. The feels. Yeah, I guarantee you this is Gail's room. There's sure a lot of locked doors in this house. They all get unlocked eventually. There's some books here. One of them is cookbook. Let's see. You learned how to make banana pancakes. Mmm, banana pancakes. <laughs> that sounds delicious. This room. Gail. Are you here? Hmm. This 
bookshelf is stuffed full of thick textbooks. Physics fundamentals, advanced physics, astronomy. I remember this textbook from high school. Lots of formulas and diagrams. Gail left a lot of notes for himself in the margins. Lots of beautiful pictures of space. Oh, this is so sad. So sad. All right, I guess I'll go downstairs and give that ghost his food. Oh, hey Alex, you're talking to him? Hey, did you get my order? Order? I want pancakes, coffee, and a banana. Try to keep the pancakes fluffy. Oh, and I like the coffee black. I could use a little coffee myself right now. Got the food yet? You gave the man pancakes, banana, and coffee. Well, you really did it. I didn't think you'd know how to make pancakes. Not bad. Pancakes are actually pretty decent. Although my wife's pancakes are fluffier. Well, I'm not your wife. <laughs> She knew how to make the best coffee, too. This coffee's alright, though. You're welcome. Can I can I talk to you, Alex? No? Not so much? Okay. So, what else can I do? Uh, so, I think I know seven of the recipes now? Yeah. Alex, did you want anything to eat, honey? You didn't ask me for anything, so... I'm gonna guess no. I can't talk to you, apparently. That's strange, it won't turn off. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. There we go. Aw, then I wanna watch cartoons! After this program ends, okay? The nice boy lets me watch whenever I want. The nice boy? Is Gail actually in this place? Well, I'm not a nice boy. I'm a mean old man. Oh, God. Am I gonna run into Gail's ghost at some point? That's gonna break my freaking heart. I don't know if I can handle it. Nothing. Alright, let's go check the flowers on the graves. And our flowers. Our flowers are doing good. Oh, got some more flowers. Sweet red flowers decorate this grave. You watered the plant. Okay, I'm guessing you don't need any more water then. Doesn't need any more water. Okay. All right. I'll refill the watering can while I'm thinking about it. And I don't think there's anything else I can do. I mean, I can cook, I guess, but I don't know what everyone wants, so. Or if they want anything at all. Just double checking to see if there's anything I can interact with. So what did that Z guy want again? He wanted five candles, chalk, and a flower, right? Right, is Grumpy Guts still in here, or is she gone now for the night? <laughs> uh, looks like she's gone, okay. Alright, well I guess I shall go to bed then. Alright, uh, let's double check this note. This note that was taped to my face. You can cut some things for me. Five candles, piece of chalk, and flowers important. Okay. 
Let's check Instaface. Message from Nate. Hey, Corin, how's Gail? Who's Gail? Is he that nerdy kid who'd always talk to you about your articles in the school paper? Oh my gosh, my feels. Too many feels. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end this part here uh, just cause if I go to the next day, I'm gonna wanna play through the whole next day because I'm obsessed with this game. <laughs> oh, this part with finding Gail's room and oh my gosh. And we've got our three ghost guests now. I'm guessing Gail is gonna show up probably later on in the week, which is going to emotionally destroy me. But yeah, loving this game, loving the cooking aspect and the money management. It's just, it's such a cute little game. And like I said, all the characters are so charming and just so unique. And I just, I, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. And if you are enjoying it, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.